Hello, I'm Ellie for Edu for Java, and this is the first Java tutorial. We're going to develop our first Java program from zero. The first thing we are going to do is to download Java. We're going to write in Google the word Java and JDK which stands for Java Development Kit. It is the development kit for Java. Here we can see the Oracle site. Let's click here. We find Development Kit 6U21. We click Download. And here we have to select the operating system. We choose Windows. Below we click continue. We click in this file here, 75 megas. And here we have the possibility of saving. I've already, I have already saved it, so I'm not going to download it again. But you can save it and automatically it is going to download. Once you have it, we're going to look for an editor. We can write it in a text editor, really, just like Notepad. But if we download Eclipse, it will help us a lot. It will help us uh, to write Java code. Everything will be easier. Because of this, we are going to use Eclipse, which is uh, free. Let's see. We write Eclipse and we go to Eclipse.org. We go to Downloads. Here we have several Eclipse versions. Any really which says Java uh, is OK. It's going to work. The ones which have the, the word Java are perfect. The ones which say C++ or PHP aren't useful for us. I always use this one. Here you can download it for Windows 32 and Windows 64. We're going to choose 32 bits. We click here to download. And uh, again, it gives us the option to save. I'm going to press cancel because I have already downloaded, but you press save. After a while, you get these two. This one is Java and this is Eclipse. This is an X, uh, so it is simple. You press next, 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 and you will install Java in your computer. This one is a zip file. It is compressed. If you don't have a pro program to unzip um, it, to decompress, you what you do, you can go to Google and write WinRAR, for example. Here you have, which is the one I like best. Descargas, Downloads, WinRAR España, Descargas, and the first one is OK. You click here and you get this small exit. You're going to have this one. Double click and you install it. Once you install it, you can do double click in this file. And you're going to be able to unzip this. Inside this file, you're going to have an Eclipse folder. You can drag it anywhere. Wherever you th think you can put it in your computer, anywhere you like in your computer, that's, that's the perfect place. I've put it in the desktop so it's more visible for you. You can put it in C or any place. 
Once we have it unzipped, here in this file we have eclipse.exe. Ok, this is the editor. Double click and you initialize the editor. It is um, now asking for a workspace. It, it wants to know where to leave the generated files we are working in. By default this is where it offers to put it. With uh, browser you can choose to put it wherever you want. Now it is loading for the first time. Here we are. This is the editor. We're going to start creating a new project Java. Right button over the area of Package Explorer, new Java project. Let's name it, for example, Hola Mundo, that's Hello World. We press Finish and here we have our first project, Hola Mundo. We open it and we can see we have a folder called Source. This folder is going to contain the files with the code of the programs we're going to write. Right button, new. Now we're going to create a class. The class we're going to create has a name. We're going to write Hola Mundo, Hello World. Uh, as you can see, it starts with uppercase due to convention. You can write it with a lowercase, but the Java community and the standards advise you to write it with uppercase. Another convention says that when there are two words, or one word made of two, the first letter of the last word goes with uppercase. So here in Hola Mundo, M goes with uppercase. If we wrote Hola Mundo and another word, the next word will also be written with uppercase. Here, with this checkbox, we can generate automatically the main method. This method is with the one we are going to need to execute this class. Once we have written the name and we have selected the main checkbox, we go to finish. And here we have our class. Here a file have been, has been created inside the src folder. Here we have a file. This called default package will be explained a bit later on. This is a file.java which will have a Java code. This is uh, the code inside the fi this file. These are comments, we can delete them to make things easier. What we're going to see here is, first of all, the class public class Hola Mundo. A brace which opens. If you make double click we here, we're going to see where it closes. All this in blue is what is inside Hola Mundo. Inside Hola Mundo class, we're going to find this, which is a method. Public static void main. This is the method we ask the editor to write for us. These are arguments which we will study them uh, later on. Don't worry. And again we have braces which open and closes and inside we're going to write the program we want. We are going to write CISO and we're going to press Ctrl space and automatically Eclipse helps us and generates this instruction. This instruction says that whatever we put inside here is going to be printed 
in the console. This is the console here. Let's uh, clean it first. This is the console. If we write here between quotation marks edu, for example, and then um, we come here where it says run hola mundo, we click and uh, automatically the method main was executed. The main method has this instruction inside which prints in the console edu and here we can see edu. If we change and write um, for example hola mundo, hello world we write it again, we run it again and we can see hola mundo in the console we can go on adding more instructions if you want, for example hola edu, hello el, edu here we have hola mundo and hola edu If you were able to follow this tutorial, I congratulate you. You have just learned how to make your first Java program. Thank you for listening. See you in the next tutorial.